Well, at least we don't have to shovel <laughs> what's going on outside. Not the case <laughs> in the Denver area. They got snow today, a lot of snow, more than half a foot. Storm Team Chief Forecaster John Milan is here. You know, they're going to be dealing with this, I don't know, maybe... 100 miles north of here in a couple days? Well, it's actually uh, in the western and southwest part of Minnesota right now, so it's getting closer uh, and closer uh. and closer. We might see a little snow before it ends right here in southeast Wisconsin. These are two day rainfall totals uh, for Monday and today. Two and a half inches in McWanago, uh, the airport, almost two and a half inches there. Two and a third in Burlington in the airport, Sturdivant. Uh, almost two and a third inches. Brookfield just over two, Waukesha just over two, and South Milwaukee also just over two inches of rain. We still have that flood watch. That's in the dark green. That's all of southeastern Wisconsin. But the rivers in Kenosha and Milwaukee and Ozaki and Sheboygan and Jefferson County uh, flood warning, which means the rivers are slowly rising. And they will do so because we can see another two, three inches of rain by uh, Thursday night. Now we have scattered showers in our area right now, but I want to show you this big complex of storms, a couple of severe thunderstorms with hail moving to the northeast through the La Crosse area. Some of those could turn more easterly later on tonight. The showers in our area are basically around Washington County, central Washington County. You even see one lightning bolt there. So this has turned into a little thunder shower and showers scattered right down through Milwaukee County and now through Dodge County and Jefferson County. And as I said, more out to the west. And what we're looking at for high temperatures today, very warm to our south. You can see the dividing line right here where the very chilly air, 16 in Rapid City, Sioux Falls, where they're getting heavy snow, 30 degrees there, but near 80 at St. Louis and also in Indianapolis. Right now, 37, Milwaukee, 34, Port Washington, 34, Waukesha. Those temperatures won't change much overnight tonight. Our low temperatures right there in the mid. 30. So the low continues to move in our direction. We have the northeast winds. We're north of this front. We continue to see a lot of moisture and a lot of lift in the atmosphere, and that just pattern will continue right on through Thursday night before colder air settles in for Friday. Wednesday's high is still only around 40. Strong northeast winds, scattered showers, and also thunderstorms. And that is the forecast for tonight. Showers and storms at times 36. Northeast winds stay strong. Tomorrow, rain, thunderstorms, windy, cool. 40 degrees tomorrow night, cloudy and cool, scattered showers 35 and Thursday, rain and storms, windy, cool, and 40 degrees. Here's your storm team four, seven day planter down to 38 with a snow shower or a rain snow mix on Friday. Little bit of a warm up in the weekend forecast 44 on Saturday, a shower and 50 on Sunday. In the morning hours, it's little Kira Templin. How adorable is she, but she's <laughs> all dressed up for the rain. The umbrella and the raincoat, 37 chilly degrees in the morning hours. How about tonight? Let's look at a Facebook winner.